Hi, this is Gail from Life and Splatters, and I'm going to do a pretty little swipe and schmear. Uh, this is a 10 by 20 inch canvas, which I've flooded with my white mead and acrylic paint mixed with Floetrol and water to a medium consistency, giving it a good coat, wipe the paint on the edges, and now I'm laying on the ribbons of paint. So I have a copper, a metallic turquoise, a metallic lime green, some gold. I have a Payne's Gray to which I added some silver. And at the very end, I'm going to add just a little bit of Golden's High Flow Iridescent Gold. And that's straight out of the bottle. All the other colors are mixed with Floetrol and a bit of water if needed to give me a little mound on a mound that disappears. I want the paints to stay in place once once I've done the swipe and that is about the right consistency. For this swipe, I'm going to add some white paint above the colors, and that is my Amsterdam formula, because I do know that I will get interesting cells and lacing by using it to swipe over the colors. So with a damp paper towel, I start by placing the paper towel onto the white, picking up just enough of it, and you'll notice that the towel will touch the copper, the turquoise, that blue, and actually a bit of the gold before I start pulling it down across the canvas. That is so that I'm pulling the colors over one another, and that's what helps to give a really pretty uh, reaction. Now for this, this swipe, I did uh, touch a little bit too much of the white, and you'll see how far down we go without really much color. And so I will go back in and I will fix that in a little later in the video.
sometimes with the swipe, I'm not pleased with certain areas of it. Perhaps the color is muddied up a little bit or there's not enough cells and lacing. Uh, so in this situation, I'll take a section, I'll add my paints again, I'll add the little bit of swiping white above it, and I will swipe over that area. And that's the nice thing about swipes, is you can sort of repair patches uh, if you find that you don't have enough definition, if the swipe was a little bit on the muddy side. This is an effective way to fix a section that you're not happy with. I find tilting will often open up some of the cells and create some interesting patterns. Um, and now I'm going to get out the palette knife and start doing some schmears, which will add uh, interest, definition, and uh, as you smear through the surface of the paint, you bring up some of the colors from beneath. This is just sort of adding little uh, touches uh, movement and uh, some more interest to the patterns.
And here are all the pretty little bits. Uh, normally, in nearly every single painting that I do, I have black because I like a lot of contrast. And when I set out to do this one, I decided not to use black. But I wanted this to be a little lighter um, summertime colors. And it ended up looking, if, if you were laying down in a field of tall grasses in the summer uh, with the sun, this is sort of what I imagined you would see. You know, the sort of pretty colors and movement of the grasses. It's really a whimsical little piece. I'm very pleased with the, the little details. Uh, that white Amsterdam formula is lovely in a swipe. And uh, the schmears just add interest and uh, some more shape to the piece. So I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this. I hope I gave you some ideas uh, about how to how to create a painting of using swipe, a swipe and schmear technique. It's pretty, it's wonderful in all sorts of colors. This is all metallics. So as soft as it is, uh, the dried piece is really very lovely. It's uh, really got a lovely shine to it. So again, thank you so very much for coming along. Thank you for all your kind comments and your support. Uh, it's really important to continue to be creative, to express yourself. I believe uh, creating art is healing. It is uh, it's uplifting. And uh, I think most of us just crave it. Uh, so you know, please keep keep making beautiful art and uh, thanks for coming along again take care bye